Finally, we're going to look at the more in-depth battery-operated suction unit found on the back of all ambulances, in all a and &E departments and in all ambulance response cars. This unit has to be checked daily. The daily checks are that it's charged and the battery is full. So whenever it's been used, it needs to be put on recharge. Secondly, the cabinet itself or the case that carries the fluids has to be checked and has to be clean. And they are disposable, ref uh, disposable units inside, so as again, we don't have to touch or come into contact with the biohazard. The pipe work has to be changed. These are one use only, one patient only, because again, it's contaminated and it's thrown away at the end of use. And the suction catheter is a slightly different tool but works in exactly the same way as the other suction devices we've already looked at. It has an on-off button to make the actual unit work itself. It has also got a pressure gauge, so as we can see the actual pressure or the suction or vacuum that we create into clear fluids, which can be altered with the actual regulator in the centre. If we're dealing with a baby, we drop the volume down, the vacuum down to a lower level because obviously we're dealing with smaller, more delicate tissues. If we're dealing with a large adult who's been drinking all day and got a lot of fluid in his in airway, then we increase the suction to clear it faster. There is also a battery charge light which tells you how much power is in the battery. And these units last on average about 30 minutes on full suction, but all units will differ depending on size of battery, age, uh, and many other different factors. Turning it on by pushing the on-off button, and the unit will then start to run and suck. By turning the pressure gauge, we can actually alter the amount of suction and the speed that it sucks at, and turn off. The tube gives us extra space and extra room to be able to work, but the actual catheter mount is used in exactly the same way as all of the other suction devices. We open the airway with a head tilt chin lift, and then we use the suction catheter itself only as far as we can see in a sweeping motion for a shorter time as possible. But remembering it is a much more efficient suction device. So we really do only use it when we really need it and for a shorter time as possible because we then have to reinflate the lungs to get the oxygen back into the system. Once this unit has been used, the catheter mount, the pipe work and the insert to the bottle itself all have to be removed and cleaned before being reset. So all of that is disposable, all of that is replaced, battery charged for the next patient. In the highly unlikely event that this suction device doesn't work or we're on a prolonged resuscitation where the battery eventually runs out, we then always have our fallback of the manual or the disposable suction to fall back on.